I'm going to go over a quick installation for ACRs on a Mac into Photoshop. So once you download your zip file, it will either be in your downloads folder or on your desktop. You can double click or right click and select uncompress all files. I'm going to double click that. I'm going to move the zip over to the trash. Open up the folder. Go ahead and navigate to your ACRs file. You're going to see they're all in there. Go ahead and select them all. And then you can copy them on my Mac, it's Command C. And then to get to where you save your ACRs in Photoshop on your keyboard, you're gonna hit Command Shift G. And uh, you will type this in. There is a file in the zip file for the installation that, so you don't have to type this all out. You can copy and paste this in. Where it says home right here, in the one you'll paste in, it says username. Whatever your username is on your Mac, that's what you're going to put in there. Mine's home. So I go ahead and click go. That takes me to where all my ACRs are saved within Photoshop. You go ahead and command V. And that will go ahead and paste them all in there. These are the love stories. You go ahead and close that. Open up Photoshop. To get to your actions panel, you're going to go ahead and go to filter camera raw filter. And now to get where those presets are, you're gonna click these three lines right here. All right, so mine are saved in my user presets. You can see you can go through and as you hover over one, it'll automatically show you what it will look like. Um, for me, what I do is I always duplicate the background layer by hitting Command J. And then I go into filter, I go into camera raw filter, go into the presets. That way, anytime I apply a preset, it's on a different layer. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply Love Story 2. So now that it is on a separate layer, I can go ahead and change the opacity if I would like. I can decrease it a little bit. And if you want that to be a little stronger than what it is at 100%, you can duplicate that and you can go into filter and you can hit camera raw. And it'll play that same ACR again for you. So you can get a double effect. And that is how you install your ACRs into your camera raw on a Mac.